So what you need to practice attentively is to duck and then throw a liver shot. There you go. God damn it. in the boxing world right here right now it's the lightweight division champ division world champion you masturation two rounds 11 seconds boxing record seven total fights seven wins zero losses seven knockouts you from the lions boxing club claims the title of lightweight division world champion it's loud that's it what do you think he's strong unbelievably strong speed technique discernment and athletic ability they're all beyond normal human levels of course, there's no way K would be satisfied with the mere belt. Prepare yourself, he's the strongest competitor you'll ever come across in your boxing career. Yes, coach, junior welterweight world champion, Yuto Takeda. So is my man just about to start fighting fight champions in every division? Like he's not even gonna go up against the people in between? That's crazy. Hey, where's Ryu? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what? Spit it out. He told us to stay here because he was gonna take care of the butcher himself. So you really let him go alone? Fucking moron. Gather everybody up, we're gonna go whack the butcher. Yes, sir. What the hell? Sumi's gang number two, man, the butcher. Tell me, what am I doing here? What the fuck are you talking about? You're the one who barged in here. Die, motherfucker. Whoa, did Ryu take, take care of all the goons himself? Sir, are you okay? Yo, yo. All right, so Ryu got a growth arc. Ryu got a, Ryu got a really big growth arc. Ryu got mad strong out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure that fight fucked him up and now he's just like, fuck it. I'm gonna kill that dude, son. Sir? Yo! What is up with you, bro? Damn it! Oh, shit. Sir? What? What the hell have I been doing? He, he really did it. He's the world champion. But why? Doesn't he look happy about it? You, why have you become a boxer? But it's still cause for congratulations, isn't it? D did you see that? Did you? He's the world champion. The world champion! What a chatterbox. I can't believe it! No wonder Ryu was devastated. Don't get too excited about it, kid. You better focus on being well prepared for your debut match. Yes, coach. boy. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see how strong this dude got, bro. I'm so here for Jay's growth. I'm so here for you. Y'all don't even understand. I'm, I'm so here for Jay's growth. I want it to happen. He, I, he's like my little Jin Ho in the boxer. That's how I feel about him. I really want him to get stronger. But if he does it and if he gets bodied by, the, by you, so be it. I hope not though. Your training period is long for good reason. So don't be impatient or worried that you're too far behind your friend. Don't think he's someone you can catch up to in the first place. Of course not, coach. I'll get better slowly but surely because I'll always give him my all. There there you go. Hard work pays off, bro. What an, what an innocent looking face. He doesn't fit the image of a boxer at all. I'll be sure to put on a good show. I can't believe the boy's, the boy's his son. But when I think of what a hard time he gave me back in the day, I bet this kid won't be an easy match either. Starting now, no more no more watching use matches. Huh? Why not, coach? His boxing style is in a different dimension. Copying it, is, copying it is a pipe dream for the average person. So watching his matches won't be helpful to you in the least. He right, he, he has a point. If a boxer is gifted in a certain way of fighting, may not do you justice to just like, you know, copy their fighting style like that. What justice does that serve, you know? And you're an infighter, so your boxing style is completely different. He's an infighter. Interesting, okay. Watch Yuto Takeda's fight instead. Junior welterweight world champion Yuto Takeda. That's right, Yuto Takeda is the best infighter out there. Infighting's the only way to go for you, so they'll be a good reference. What I told him, but he and his father resembled that boxer more than Yuto Takeda. Although the kid's got like a candle flame compared to him. You and your father always remind me of a certain boxer. Who? How to describe him? Respected by boxers all over our generation, all over the world. Oh shit! Oh shit, it's a Super Saiyan dude! He was like the sun. But he's not your average boxer either. So never mind, just watch a lot of Takeda's matches. Oh, okay. Why even bring it up? Thank you! All right, your debut match is it's coming up soon. Let's step up the training. Yes, sir! There are many different stories in the world. The story of hope, where the pr protagonist overcomes adversity and continues to grow, or the tragic story of a protagonist whose life was once great but then goes into a downward spiral. Or even a story where the person thought to be the protagonist turned out to be the final boss other than other, other protagonists must defeat. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The story dad told you in your face. Hey, guy, guess what? You is not even the protagonist. He's the final boss of this whole thing. The point of this whole thing is that you're watching who you think might become the protagonist. Be, get stronger to beat this guy. 
So now the question is, who is the real protagonist? That's so interesting. That's so cool. The boxer's not only about seeing this kid go from like random ass tragic person to amazing boxer. It's about finding out who's gonna be the guy who gets strong enough to beat him. Who's got the guts? Who's got the heart? Oh, I love it. I love it. This is a dope story. Everyone has their own story and rarely, very rarely. Kid, it's time to eat. Jean-Pierre lost? Wow, cool. I can't believe it. Kids, it's enough TV. Eat your food. Oh, mister, look, Jean-Pierre lost the game. There are stories where it's not until the last moment that the real protagonist appears. What the fuck? Hey, how have you all been? I suddenly remembered I promised I'd made a promise I'd made, but we'll come back to the story a little bit later. I'm gonna go pro. I'm finally gonna become a real boxer. Let's take a look at the story of the protagonist who's, who continues to grow. I kind of get it. It's not even like you're trying to find out who the protagonist is. It's more like there are multiple prot protagonists and you're watching the story from three points of view. And I wonder if now, I wonder if the story is gonna like switch up now to where like you're looking into the stories of all these other guys, you know? A few months after the fight, Coach Typhoon Kim, 42 years old, owner of, the, owner of a small boxing gym. He stared out the window, deep in melancholy. Anyone who saw him might think his menopause had come a little early. God damn, bro. Well, they wouldn't be entirely wrong. What? However, there was good reason for his gloomy mood. Let's say a jewelry chain, a jeweler had chances upon a huge, huge rough diamond. Someone greedy would typically cut the, cut the diamond and try to hog all the riches. But Typhoon was a good person, so that's not what he did. More important to him than riches and honor was making sure that the true beauty of the rough gemstone should shine. So he judged it to the best jeweler he, he knew. Typhoon Kim, he was a real man. Typhoon Kim, and his name is cool too. I mean, his name is Typhoon. Like, come on. Full of resolve and the, and the spirit of self-sacrifice, he made his decision, but fate had a different plan in mind. Huh. <sighs> a rough diamond the size of a boulder suddenly appeared and crushed the rough stone he discovered. Alas, what had his resolve and spirit of self-sacrifice been for? Life felt as pointless as his effort to stop his receding hairline for this, for this middle-aged man. So Ryu ended up quitting boxing. Is he going Is he going through puberty or something? But fate took another unexpected turn. Hey coach, Kim, how have you been? Hello. Good, a little faster. His eyesight. If you want to survive in the world of pro boxers, you better run and keep running until you can anymore. The problem was his eyesight. Oh, he wears glasses. So that's your boy, huh? Wow, it's a real punching bag. I didn't want him to box so he could lead an easier life than I did, but I think he's serious about it. Hmm, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But why me? What do you mean? You're the greatest boxer I know. Huh. We were arch rivals since back in our boxer days. I have a, I have a better career as a boxer, but he has a better head-to-head -head record against me at three to two. I look a, I took I look a bit rounded now after putting on some weight, but I used to be a slick-looking amateur with an elite background. Oh shit, my man was ripped. He looked like a dope-ass Kimura. Well, this guy's always been a hungry boxer. I was a technical boxer who preferred to make every punch count, but he was a reckless and, ag and aggressive boxer who'd bulldoze in the, his way past all the punches I threw. Man, was he a tough opponent. I've been teaching him some of the basics since he was little. I thought you didn't want to want to teach him how to box. The problem is his eyesight. Jay hurt one of his eyes when he was little, so he's almost completely blind in one eye. Oh shit! So he's almost completely blind in one eye. Yo, that means that's right. He has a hard time gauging distance. I see. Now I understand. Got it. Keep running until you can't anymore. Yes, coach. After running, work on your work on your neck and back. After that, your abs. Yes, coach. Sly old fox, so that's why. He thinks I'll know the strengths of that style because I've experienced it firsthand. Don't even think about using your reach as your weapon. You've only got one choice. You have to take all the hits, force your way in no matter how many you have to take. But do you think closing the distance will give you an advantage? No, you don't have the punching power to knock out your opponent. And now your opponent's close enough to knock you out with the hook or an uppercut. You're gonna have to learn to stick close to your opponent and trade hard if you want to be even close to equal footing with everyone else. But. I don't care if you're blind in both eyes. From that from that range, your punching is gonna deliver. If the other guys hit you once, you hit him twice. If he hits you twice, you hit him four times. No glasses while you're here at the gym. I want you to feel the distance between you and your opponent. What you need is a stamina and, do and dog determination to keep rushing at, and rushing at and clinging to your opponent. And you need strong neck muscles and a body of steel to gain the upper hand and survive in the brawl. Facts. Remember, infighting is the only option you've got. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes, coach! Don't even think about debuting early. You're starting out with a disadvantage, meaning you've got, to, you've got to get all your ducks in a row. Yes, coach! 
You see Big John Juan's, J John Juan's Alley restaurant on TV, right? What's his mantra? Choose and focus. Please simplify your menu and just focus on one or two dishes. That's right, choose and focus. Now keep running. Some boxers dabble in this or that style so they can fight pretty. But you just focus on one style and show them how scary an infighting turtle can be. Yes, coach! I heard why he decided to become a boxer and I feel somewhat responsible for what he went through. Jay, other boxers may be gemstones, but you're a tree. Yes, a tree may be less valuable than gemstones, but their value are already decided from birth. But, and once they break, they can never be recovered. Now a tree is different. Even if it breaks, it grows in a new life in hopes of growing big and tall once again. Grow into a giant tree. You will be a giant tree rooted firmly in its place despite any advers adversities. Time. Time is given equally to everyone. Some achieve great things in a twinkling. Some spend their time in vain chasing after the wind. And some thoughtfully and make, their, make every moment count, waiting for their time to come. And time continues to pass. Jay, your debut opponent has been decided. Finally. But I'm not sure what to tell you. What is it, coach? It's your first opponent, but he's too strong. His name's Rock Kang. He's a veteran boxer of 40 bouts with a record of 24 wins, 14 losses, and two... What the fuck are you setting this kid up for? You're gonna kill him. You're gonna kill this poor child. Don't... 40 bouts? 40 bouts? What the fuck? He may be past his prime now, but he's a fierce boxer who was a former champion, however sh however short. Oh, okay, he he's out of his prime, okay. I did tell you to show other boxers how scary an infighting turtle can be, but that but that guy is the one who does his, does it best in your weight class. He not only set this guy up against somebody who's a veteran boxer, but the guy who is the best infighter in his class. What is he gonna do? But Jay, I, but no, no, you know what? You know what? Fuck it, fuck it, fuck that, fuck that shit. I believe in Jay. I have hope in Jay. Jay, I'm gonna put my faith in you with your Gohan tracksuit. I believe in you, bro. He's a living example of someone who's only practiced in fighting. On top of that, he he is the punching power and lots of, he has the punching power and lots of practical experience, which you don't have. In other words, he's the best version of you. The best version of me? Normally a rookie wouldn't get this kind of matchup for his debut, but all the lower ranked boxers had something coming up, so in the end of end you got paired with the rock. Uh, oh, whoa, your debut match is against a rock? Think he can win? Nope, he's definitely gonna lose. Come on! You think so too? Like I'd agree with you. Don't jinx it, you moron. You're the one who axed. Don't you worry, Jay. We happen to have an infighter at this gym who's a national champion. N no way. Still, 29 years old, super middleweight national champion. All right, use the rock strategy. I'll go easy on you since you don't have a cocky smile on your face. Oh, okay, easy. In a match between infighters, the boxers generally throw hooks and uppercuts while standing close enough to be touching shoulders. In other words, the one with less strength and spirit loses. So use your sturdy legs and torso to stand your ground while you throw your punches. Just keep pushing forward. But to be honest, when it's strength against strength, you're no match for The Rock. Whereas The Rock was endowed with a thick neck and torso, your body type and physique are actually better suited to an outboxer than an infighter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Then when pitted against a person who clearly surpasses you physically, what should you do and what do you need? If I were like so, uh, pitted, uh, pitted, up, uh, pitted up against somebody who was bigger than me and I had to be an infighter, I would obviously have to go for the body, but I would try to do things where I would, there's a thing that you could do where you could like pivot. And then when you pivot, like you pivot in a way where like, if the person is charging up against your shoulder, you would pivot to the side and it's almost like you're, you're doing a heavy weep to the side and they would, because of the weight, because of them pushing their weight on you, they would move forward. And then from there, you can, from your pivot, you could uppercut them in the gut. You could do a body shot to the gut. You could do a hook shot to the gut. You could uppercut them in the gym. You could do a lot of stuff because the way you're angled, it's really hard for them to hit you because you're like the, the enemy's right here, but now you're to their, but now you're right here to their side. So like, they have to like move their body to hit you powerfully. They can't really do this. That's not really a boxing move. So that's what I would do personally. Hmm, he's gotten somewhat heavier. Not bad. The answer is sidestepping. Oh, he actually, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't think, oh shit. Yeah, actually. Yeah, sidestepping speed. Yes. Oh shit. I called it. I called it. He did exactly what I said. When your bodies are real close together and the pressure's on, the moment you step to the side, your opponent will lose his balance and leave himself open. Yo, that's crazy. Uh, oh shit, I Jojo moment that whole panel. Oh, I, I swear to God, I swear. I swear I did not read any of that prior to this. That's crazy, I did not like, that's just what I thought would work. I'm surprised 
they actually did it. That's that's dope. I feel mad smart now because <laughs> I'm over here thinking, I mean, that could be my strategy, but a boxing coach may be like, that wouldn't work, you dumbass. You got to do this, this, and that. And I'll be like, oh, wow, why did I think about that? That makes so much more sense. But yeah, hey, look at me. Look at me coming up with the... Coming up with the boxing plays and shit. Crouch from the time, tra crouch from time to time, and make use of your footwork, even at close range, to get outside his visual field. Keep coming at him from the side. Too slow, a little faster. Yeah, unless you're a born genius, there's gonna be a huge gap in ability between a veteran and a newcomer who is just making their debut. A veteran has the upper hand in almost everything. The psychology of the game, the, the amount of training put in, and the tricks and ability to deal with any type of situation that come from fighting in a countless number of games, among others. But there is one advantage rookies have over veterans. And that's information. There's no information out there about you. But there's plenty of information on The Rock and his matches. He can't predict our moves, but we can predict his. You're right. And that's gonna be our strategy. In the first half of the match, he throws a lot of hooks and uppercuts. But his knockout punches are overwhelmingly straight. Knocking someone out with a straight is almost an obsession for him. If he, if he sees an opening, he's gonna try to throw a straight. So what you need to practice intensively is to punch his right side after, after dunking. It's to punch his right side after dunking. In other words, a liver shot. Yup, the body shots. No matter how brawny he is, even the rock can't withstand a clean liver shot. Exactly. Exactly, bro. Liver shot causes extreme pain when hit with the left hook or uppercut because the liver is on the torso right torso on the right side of the torso. Yeah. When the pressure's on, deliberately leave an opening so he throws a straight. That's when you'll duck and pow. Slug him in with slug him with the liver shot. Yes, coach! Push harder, shorter, quicker. Transfer your weight properly. Unleash your full potential. Move like you mean it. More elbows down. Good atta boy. A little more. A little more. A little faster. Uh, there you go. <sighs> My debut match is finally tomorrow. I can't sleep. Uh, I'm thirsty. Hey, yeah. And he's a mat. Ooh, there it is. Oh, that, yo. That's a good drawing. That's a good drawing of a hook to the body, bro. They even got the little twist in the leg, right? Ooh, okay. I can't use, I see you the boxer. I see you. His shadow boxing is shaped up. Oh, hey dad, you're up. Can't sleep? Yeah, I'm a little nervous and my opponent is a really strong guy. I know that I only need to do my best and show how hard I've trained, but what if I lose as soon as I debut? I'm afraid that I might helplessly despair disappear into oblivion. There was a time I was a rookie too, so I completely understand. It's like you said, for a pro, winning or losing is a difference between making or making it or disappearing. But there's definitely something more important than winning or losing on the professional stage. There's a boxer I've admired ever since I turned pro. And whenever I watched that boxer's bouts, I could always feel that there was something out there what that went beyond winning or losing. Something more important than winning or losing. Yes, and if you can find it, you can say that you've led a meaningful life as a boxer. Well, good night, son. Good luck in tomorrow's match. Thanks, dad. Good night. Something that goes beyond winning or losing. Right, for now, I'll focus on my opponent. Whether I lose or win, I'll give it my all. The day of the match. Jay, you're up in five. Nervous? Y yes, I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> huh, it's understandable since you're weak. I've never experienced it myself, but I'm sure you'll get past it. It's understandable because you're weak. This guy is the worst pep talker ever, son. Just so you know, Steele was so nervous on the day of his debut that he had diarrhea and almost couldn't fight. So you're in good shape compared to that. Steele on the day of his debut match, damn. Oh, I see. It's not true. Time's up. Let's go. It's not. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Good luck, son. Finally. I finally officially ent I'm finally officially entering the ring. It's The Rock. He's even more overwhelming in person. Don't be scared. Just do as you practiced. Remember our strategy for the first round. Yes, sir. Pretend to be an outboxer and keep my distance and surprise him by switching to infighting. That strategy will only work once as soon once as soon as the match starts. After that, it'll be inside it'll be inside fighting just like you trained. Okay, I can do this. Tussle, speed, sidestep, and left hooker uppercut to the body when he throws a straight. I can do it. I can do it. Box! Let's do this! Oh no. Down! Jesus, he just looked down on him too. One! Damn it, he got us. If you don't know what your opponent's got up his sleeve, it's better to knock him down right off the bat, huh? It's, and it's almost impossible for a petrified rookie to prepare a surprise attack in his first match. Three! It's obvious they've done everything they can prepare to prepare for this match too. However, there's one thing they didn't predict. Four! He's used to taking punches. From the knobby pump, 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 pompy swings of bullies, to the blows of a genius classmate with, the top, with top talent, the powerhouse punches of a national super middleweight champion. Jay's already a veteran at being clobbered. My man got back up and took a breath and was like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That's my boy! Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad, yes, that's how, yes. 
His response, he said, please sir, may I have another? After being punched, a familiar sensation returned. It actually helped calm my nerves. Sometimes that be helping. Six. Good. He's calmly resting and waiting during the standing eight count. It's proof that he hasn't taken a mental hit. <laughs> Jay is following all the right calls. Not bad for a rookie. He minimized the damage by tucking it in his chin before my first my fist made impact. He used taking hits. Looking like looks like he's, his sparring sessions with steel were like real matches. That doesn't mean he hasn't taken any damage at all. Don't resent me too much. It's my boxing style to go full power no matter how who my opponent is. Box! I'll finish you off now. Oh shit. Huh. He's really aggressive. There you go. There you go. The roundabout. So you're an outboxer and as slippery as an eel. But how long do you think you could keep that up? I'm gonna close in and pulverize you. He's increasing the pressure and keeps crowding my space. It's footwork to catch an outboxer. Look at the way he's running around. Outboxing is for sissies. I'll show you that real boxers are in fighters. He's coming. I'll show you. Yes! 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 That's my boy! Uppercut to the fucking chin! Fuck you! Oh, and the close! It was a nice tight uppercut. The strongest uppercut you could deliver. That, he put his whole body into that shit. Good shit, Jay. Nice! I, I did it. Three, four. He got me. So that's what he was aiming to do. He stepped in and threw a clean short uppercut. The level of completeness is different from the outboxing skills he showed. That kid is an infighter. Whew. They've exchanged blows. The greetings are over. Six. Fo oh, he got back up. Okay. The real fight starts now. Okay. Box. Hey, okay. First, the mental battle. Whoever gets the upper hand here will be in an advantage. He's, hmm, he's pretty solid. Let's see how much training he's done. Ooh, okay, I see you. Yeah, boxing vo punch volume, there you go. Talent. Jay, you, you know your talent is just average. You're no match for one, for one in a million genius like you or Ryu. And you're no match for your current opponent too. However, there's something unusual about you. How should I describe it? You work extremely hard. No, all pro boxers try their hardest. With my brains, I can't quite put my finger on it. Hmm, this tree. Was it always this slanted? I, but you definitely have something. Something that goes beyond just effort. Not bad. He's training. He's trained hard. He has more spirit than your average rookie. However, ooh, a body shot. He's still weak. Ah, he's really strong. I thought I'd gotten someone used to pressure fighting after sparring with steel. Then I'll use speed. I'll go for speed. There you go. Go to the side. Go for a body shot. Huh? Ooh, right to the face. Good. He got in a clean one-two combo. So that's how it's gonna be how it's gonna be, is it? There you go. As expected. There you go. He's really doing the punches that Steel was doing. Good job, kid. You're really coming through. Atta boy, that's it. You speed. Faster and faster. Okay, I can dodge this. I've already been hit by a faster, sharper, heavier, and stronger punches. This kid is strong. He's doing better than unexpected. This is Jay's first match, but he's taking the lead against The Rock. I knew there was something special about him, but I didn't think he would get this far on a real thing. If he could keep this up, he just might win. Hatta boy, keep it up. Th that's... Stop! You did a good job, kid, just like we practiced. Since we're in the lead on the scoreboard, keep it up in the second round, too. Yes, coach! What do you think about that rookie? It's been a while since I've, since I've seen a rookie worth my time. I can see ambition and traces of hard work. He would have won it easily if he fought against an ordinary four-round opponent instead of me. He's especially good at dodging my punches. This is just a hunch. But I think there is somebody else besides Steel who had an influence on him. Yup, he knows. However, he's still no match for me. This is dangerous. Round two, box! Awesome, my training has paid off. My moves are actually going through. Here I go! Good, I have the upper hand. The Rock's switching in a, in a defensive play, and I know I have more points. I'm gonna win, I can win! Don't get overzealous, bro, he's gonna trick you, he's baiting you. I need to stay on my toes and increase my precision and speed. This is dangerous. Come on, Typhoon, figure it out. Good, very good. He's doing better than in the practice matches. He doesn't see that he's leading him on? Bro, this is definitely a bait. Like, this is, there is no way he's doing this well and nothing is going wrong. Like, I was worried we were matched up with an opponent way out of his league, but we're dominating the game. He can win if he keeps it up. He can actually win. Stop! Good job, he did well in the second round too. He's making him tired, that's what he's doing. But don't get too excited now, pace yourself. The difference in score is clear now, so he's gonna try to get a decisive shot. Watch out for that. <sighs> huh? Why does he look so exhausted? I made sure he got enough stamina training for a match based on speed. It's only the second round, he, should have been, he shouldn't be this wiped out. Wait, he was recovering that whole time. I guess he was slow to, to notice because he's an outboxer. Explosive movements aren't the only thing that'll tire a boxer out. There's also pressure. Psychological factors will also make a boxer feel spent. 
That's dead facts. The fight between infighters is an aggressive brawl with hooks and uppercuts thrown non-stop. Each punch shakes the boxer's, boxer's composure. Without realizing, the fighter stiffens up, expending more strength in each movement. The pressure in a real match is different from a sparring session protected by headgear. And on top of that, this is Jay's debut match. He's just a rookie. Of course he doesn't have the experience to deal with the pressure. His opponent is a seasoned veteran and fighter and, and use the knowledge to his advantage. He delivered some strong punches here and there, making Jay feel pressured. It might have looked like Jay was coming out on top, but he was the one being controlled. This is bad. Should he play defensive and try to last until the end of the round by running away? No. The rock special she is catching boxers to run away. Listen, so that's not an option. I just have to believe in him. I have to believe in the whole hard work he's put in. Jay, we only have two rounds left. Just keep doing what you've been you, what you've been doing. Stay focused. Yes, coach. Good. Now get out there. Yes, coach. Round three. Box. He's heavy. Is different from the previous rounds. He's been pacing himself and saving his strength. There's no way I can beat him head to head anymore. So all that's left is speed. Oh no, my body feels too heavy. He keeps catching up. He slowed down a lot. He's on the ropes. There's no way he can escape. My legs have gone stiff. He's hitting hard and fast. I need to stay focused and stay standing. The Rock wants to end it this round. Yeah, he's really trying to end it right now. His punching power is incredible. But my entire body is aching. Right hook. I can't just keep blocking him. I, I keep getting being. I keep being pushed back. I need to get off the ropes. It's a feint. He anticipated my weaving. It's a left hook. Ah, uh, he dodged it. Not bad, but you're still no match. Oh God. Ah, uh, shit. Down. One, two. He's really strong. Thought I was coming out on top, but he only had to throw a couple of punches to make the game his. The difference in level of our experience is too great, but I still have something left up my sleeve. Five! Impressive. He minimalized the damage by reflexively putting his hand between his face and fist. His reaction speed is commendable. That's definitely the movement of a guy who's faced off against a strong opponent. Six! Seven! Box! I really like this rookie. I was saving this card for the champion, but out of respect to you, I'll use it in this match. Is he about to hit him with a counter? Jay! It was a good match. Knocking someone out with straights is almost an op obsession for him. If he's an op if he sees an opening, he's gonna try to throw a straight. So what you need to practice attentively is to duck and then throw a liver shot. There you go! God damn it. He knew it was coming and he blocked it. He, he threw a life straight on purpose. He anticipated all of it. Oh God. Down! It's over. He overpowered me in strength, skill, stamina, and experience. I'm no match for him at all. Nothing I prepared work. Nothing more I can do. What determines someone's value? I haven't had such a good match in a while. Thanks, rookie. Rise from the ashes of your defeat. Defeat. Then you will surely become much stronger. I'll be waiting for you the day we meet again. The winner and the loser. In this world of winners and losers, people respect the strongest who rise to the top and lavish praise upon them. Because we all thirst for value in our existence. We feverishly cheer for the distinction. But can we say that it is only these select few whose existence carry and carry any value? No. Oh shit! He got back up. So what? What does it matter if I'm talented or not? If I win or lose? Who gives a shit about all that? Who gives a shit? What determines a person's worth? Two downs in a row. It'll just be a one-sided beatdown even if I just even if I let this match continue. I should have ended it already as a TKO, but this rookie. Can you continue? His eyes are clear and focused. Yes! Clear he's taken some damage, but his eye but his eyes are clearer and more focused than they were at the start of the match. I'll keep an eye on him for a little longer. If you're knocked out one more time, this round or this round or if it looks like you're in danger, I'm gonna stop the match immediately. Keep that in mind. Yes, sir! Box! There's a fine line between obstinacy and, ten and tenacity. Less test. Which which one it is? He's ruthless. He barreled him against the ropes right 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 from the start. Jay. I know. I might be one of those boxers who lose their pro debut game and quietly fade away, or one of those ones who fade away without winning a single match match after debuting. But I didn't start boxing to find out whether I'm stronger or weaker than others. Oh. I started boxing to find out what true strength is. Hmm. Win or lose. If I give it my all, that's enough. There you go, bro. He still had this much strength left. It's the first time. It's the first time I pushed the rock back. I'm really at my limit now. My legs won't move anymore. Oh, so all that's so that's so all that's left now is to go head to head. Impressive. You're the best rookie I've ever been up against. Good luck, son. This is crazy. 
Jay, to be honest, this was a this was a match that defied common sense. It's rare for a rookie to face a fighter of this level in their debut match. It's a kind of matchup for those who were former Olympic medalists or, or who made a name for themselves in the back alleys. It's actually a matchup I should have rejected. However, I saw a possibility in you. Maybe I made a rash, de rash decision, but my gut was telling me to accept this match. So show me. Show me why I accepted the match. He's really incredible. He should be feeling exhausted too, but his punches are more powerful than before. I'm being pushed back. Is this his trademark straight? Steel straight can't can even compare to this. Yes, this is my straight. It's a skill I polished and honed my entire career. There aren't any fancy tricks to it. Just a full extended straight fist. Is, this is my this is my favorite boxing technique. He's incredible. It's obvious how much extreme extreme hard work went into to achieve his style of boxing. Every movement shows me the blood, sweat, and tears he's put in. That's the life he's led, and this is the life I've led. It's two people meeting for the first time in the ring, each sharing stories. About, about the lives they're led and who they are. Whether you win or lose, it's just an outcome. Boxing is so cool. Here it comes. The Rock second straight. This one, isn't, this one isn't a feint. It's coming straight at me. Move. I have to dodge it, but my body won't listen. I'm really, at my, I'm really at my limit now. One more time. I just need to move one more time. Yes, I did it. And now for the left body shot I hammered away at, but my body won't move anymore. If only I trained harder, then I could have hit him. I guess this is as far as I go. It was a good match. I gave it my all. Oh. 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 Punch the mouth guard out of my man's mouth. Down. Huh. Huh. Pursuant to Article 2582 of the Criminal Code, Defendant Big San Ryu is sentenced to six years in prison. What the fuck? Uh, I won. Kid, how did you do the thing at the end? I can't believe that's how he won. My gut feeling was right. I knew it. Darn it. I didn't expect my chum card to get destroyed like that. The speed of my reactionary weaving and the movement leading up to the liver shot at the end were really something. It was for a fleeting moment, but I saw moves that make him worthy of competing on the world stage. Oi, hope you aren't gonna be a sore loser. Not like you, not like you, I won't. It's been a while since I've had this much fun. I'm looking forward to seeing you grow. Thank you. He's still a little green, but with the spirit, but with the spirit and great courage that he showed during the match, his physical strength built upon obvious hard work, excellent reaction speed, and the potential to show it, to, and the potential he showed at the end. This kid is definitely going to make it big. He might just keep winning and get to challenge the champion in no time. But he's going to have to be careful because this champ, because the champion is a dangerous guy.